Uh, so now I'm going to show some of the weapon effects, which are also pulled using the FX pool. So I'm going to make one of the enemies uh, fire. So let me just select this one. And I'm going to add to it a weapon. Munition, enemy munition weapon. I'm just going to drag and drop this one inside the weapons. And see now I need to adjust its location over here let me make this one fire from this side and I'm going to change its speed and make it uh, really slow uh, from about two and I'm going to because I haven't shown this one make it rotate a little bit the diagonal would move it like this let's move it slightly like this and have a bend so it's almost like a curve mover I'm going to apply and once we have added a weapon just a reminder the it's very very important to remember that it needs to be listed uh, without it being listed it, it won't fire so I'm just going to drag and drop over here so we have our weapon but unfortunately now our weapon doesn't have any munition so I would have to add the munition from the prefabs inside munition I'm just going to start with bullets and I will duplicate this one so that we don't change any of the prefabs I'm going to call it bullet test and just add it and add some sound and I'm a rate of two for example and let's preview so the bullet now is too big I'm going to make it smaller So that's our open, let's increase our rate and let's test it. I'm going to delete, delete the preview, apply, and make sure that we only uh, see this one. Side one is using this simple enemy. And let's just make uh, two enemies. And give it some time until the next wave appears. So here it is, I'm going to add to it uh, this option in the simple mover is following direction. Let's see its effect. So it's rotating as it moves. And I'm going to show uh, another option we have here inside uh, this enemy, the shooter. There's something called is following a uh, munition movement. I'm going to apply it. So you see it's it's firing uh, alongside the movement. The rotation settings can, can be confusing because there are plenty of settings. So you have this one, this setting over here where it's uh, following the direction and you can apply it differently separately from the munition and to the particle weapons and you have extra additional uh, rotation settings over here this is just to make sure that you whatever uh, case or scenario you are working on you can always uh, adjust the, the rotation now just to make it simple and easy to to modify the weapons and see the effect i'm going inside this wave i'm going to make just one enemy spawn it from the center instead of the random spawn position and just make it close to the edge and i'm going to disregard the uh, movement to put it back just to make it straightforward and apply and see the effect so you have one enemy like this okay so uh, what are some of the uh, things we can modify as we can add uh, inside uh, shmob boss rotators focus rotator uh, now the focus rotator is uh, a an interesting uh, uh, component it will just uh, direct anything uh, towards its target now to know its target it needs a tracker I'm going to open up here just to show what are the trackers 
So for example, a missile mover or a magnet mover needs a tracker to, to know what to follow. Additionally, the focus rotator needs one. I, I'm just going to apply it. And, you know, I, as you use it, or if you uh, go inside the script, you'll see how it's uh, working. There's a tracker. Oops. I'm going to choose tracker player because this focus rotator will track the player. Let's give it a turn speed of 100. So, and once you fly, you'll see what it's doing now. So you see it's tracking the player, trying to hit it. Okay, uh, another one interesting feature I'm going to show now, let's make this one even higher, is called, uh, it's a weapon modifier inside weapons components weapon rate controller let me put this one and i'm going to add a list of two it will be easy and make it loop so for one second for one second oh, i want it to multiply the rate with a value of zero and for this for two seconds after that i want it to multiply it by two and let's add another one and for a second to multiply it by 0.5 let me put back there. Now it looks uh, confusing, but what's just once you play it, you'll see what is happening. Let's hit play. Uh, with, with these features, uh, for example, the focus rotator and the rate controller, you can get actually some pretty impressive results. So. I'm going to show now a uh, weapon fire effects. Uh, it is added from Smob Boss uh, weapons components weapon fire effects, which will generate uh, some fire, some explosion, or whatever effect you use once the weapon hits. You can just use uh, an explosion, or you can use a weapon fire effects. Makes no difference. Both of them just use the animated effects controller. I'm going to drag and drop this one. Looks nice. Let's me preview it. So when the weapon fires, it will show this effect. Let me rotate it, um, 180. And let me make it big so that we know what we are doing. And let's constrain it to the weapon so that it's following it. And let me just make it slightly down. Okay, it's perfect. Let me apply. And let me play. So you see the you have a weapon fire effect. Nice. Okay, so we have a weapon fire effects. What other effects I can apply? I can ah the munition hit effects. So inside the munition. Uh, by the way, just a reminder: uh, bullets uh, can be used for both the the player, uh, the player and the enemy. Uh, they don't have to be changed, but missiles need to be different because they have different trackers. One tracks the player, another tracks the enemy. So I'm going to, to add the munition hit effects inside Schmob Boss um, weapons munition munition hit effects. And with the munition hit effects, I'm going to add um, <clears throat> an explosion. This one. And I need to input the, the bullet. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> So that's uh, the bullet. I'm going to preview the explosion. Let's make it bigger and a little bit away from the bullet. And that's the munition hit effects. Let me apply. So now our bullet has a munition hit effects. Let me just double check it's using this one and let me add the make the player health stronger so it can take some hits it's now overpowered okay mm -hmm. uh, just one very quick um, Thing on the play, on the agents, you see the there's a, this setting is triggering munition hit effects when hit. If this one is disabled, it 
it will not show the effects. But, but by default, it's always enabled. So let me just now, and if you want this one to be a missile, uh, again, you can just uh, change the prefab from over here, enemy missiles. Let me just drag and drop this one. And now your, your weapon should be a, a missile weapon. But <laughs> there's awfully too many missiles. Okay, let me just put it back. And if you want to create a missile, again, you can just go into edit, uh, shmob boss, uh, munition, you can create the proper type of missile, and, or, or you can just duplicate any of the existing one. Let me just create a particle weapon, so that you can see the difference, and there's uh, one more effect that we can show. Inside weapons, enemy particle weapon. I'm going to drag and drop this one, and make it zero, and to make it on the other side. And let me just, because I haven't added a sprite, let me just pick any sprite. And we have this one. And I'm going to go inside here. I'm just going to go inside here and add a particle weapon. Now we should have both a munition weapon and a particle weapon. Now the particle weapon can also use the same modifiers for the other weapons, such as the rate controller. For example, I can add a rate controller, the same thing, and I can add the open fire effects. I'm just going to show the particle hit effects so that we can finish. The particle hit effects is the equivalent of the munition hit effects, but you need to apply it to the weapon. So I'm, I'm just going to put an explosion over here. Or yeah, yeah, an explosion will work. Just this one, just preview the size of it, and it's looking good. And I can even make a sound. Make this one okay, that's done. Let me hit the apply. Here, that's done. Okay, so now we have um, so our weapons and we've shown the effects. Uh, just a quick note, uh, I could, if I want, activate this particle destruction field. This one I don't need now. And it would mean that any particles that hit it will be despawned. But there is a, and will not, the, uh, it will not need this distance. So I can keep it to zero. But there's a, a slight problem with that because we now have a particle hit effects. It will also generate an effect. Let me hit play. So you see what's happening? Uh, so if you plan to use uh, the particle destruction field, just make sure that you don't have any particle hit effects or you can maybe make the particle uh, destruction field slightly bigger. Anyway, so that's it. Let me just use the distance again, which is which makes more sense. Apply. And that's it. Okay. Now, if, with this, we have mostly uh, explained most of the components of Schmob Boss, but now what remains, I guess, is the infinite level spawner and also the the boss uh, mode. Uh, I'll keep that for another tutorial. Now just quickly, I think the ones which are left out, we have the camera shake effect, a vital slider and a visual upgrade. Just a quick reminder that you can always, always just go inside any demo. For example, this uh, the inside the scenes. Let's test this one. You can play it. And you can see any interesting feature and you can just learn how it was made. So for example, I'm, I'm looking at the fighter jet now and I see they have, it has a, an interesting way 
of changing the sprites, you will go inside here and examine what's being used. And you can see, for example, we have here a sprite swap by eight direction. It's also in the documentation and you can see it from there. And we have here, you can see, for example, every enemy being spawned and what are its components and what effects it's using. Okay, so that wraps, wraps it up and we'll go in, into another tutorial.